Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna show you Claude Taskmaster. It's an AI powered task management system you can drop into Cursor. So this is a project that's fully open source by AR Toledano. I'm gonna to build an actual project with it today. So to install it, the first thing you'll do is npm install uh, global and then Taskmaster AI. So this project that I set up is just a standard Next.js project created with Create Next App. We're gonna build an AI ad generator, ads generator we'll call this project. So I've gone and written out the full description, basically a video ad generator. If you're familiar with Real Farm, we'll do something similar to that. I'm not sure how far we're actually gonna get into the project. The core point of it is really just to show you how Taskmaster works. But the idea, a video ad generator, the video uses AI generated characters and scripts. The app is Next.js and it can create videos ready for download. The video will be an AI generated avatar with some background music and text on screen. The user can also upload a screencast of their own product and we'll stitch that into the video. So I'm not sure it's actually gonna use this right now um, for the description, but I'll copy and paste this for later. And yeah, we're gonna go and build everything. So let's see how that comes out. This I'm gonna copy. So you can see it's starting to create all these files. It's created a windsurf rules file. And here, once it's done, it will tell you what the next steps are. So this can be a little confusing because I don't think the repo for Taskmaster has enough, but literally just read here what you do and you can continue. So first thing, rename .env.example to .env. So, so let's go and find that. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's just get ignored. So I'm just gonna copy paste that, call it uh, .env instead. I'm gonna set the keys over here, but you can see, yeah, we're gonna use uh, Claude Sonnet, Perplexity, Sonar. You can get an API key for that quickly. So we're gonna say, please use the Taskmaster pass PRD command to generate tasks from my PRD. The PRD is located at scripts PRD.txt. Okay, so let's take that. I've pasted in here what we're gonna build from the description before. I don't think you need the full description in the first line, but maybe where I did it before, you could just keep it short and this is like the full description. So we're gonna create a PRD.txt file. I'm gonna set this running. Um, Gemini Pro is fine, agent mode. Okay, cool. So that's this step over here. Discuss your idea with the AI. So let's take a look quickly what was created for us. So we have this scripts folder. Inside it is basically something for Taskmaster to run the CLI. Now here's an example prd.txt. So we're about to create a file similar to this. So if we take a look quickly, you will see we've got um, these XML tags that explain like the full context and so on. There's an overview. So over here, the, the stuff in here needs to be replaced, but provide a high level overview of your product here, explain what the problem is solved, who it's for and so on. Here we're gonna list the core features. We're gonna explain about the user experience, user personas, key user flows, and so on. And then we've got technical arc, and so that's the end of the context. And then we've got the PRD section here, so technical arch architecture, how we want it all to be designed, development roadmap, logical dependency chain, risks and mitigations, and appendix, anything else that might be important. So we're busy creating this right now. And basically what's gonna happen is hopefully the AI here will go and create a PRD.txt file very similar to this example file. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep showing you more files while this is working. I think it's going, hopefully. So it seems like it's actually poor. So I've just moved it to max mode, you know, just gave it all it can and just told it keep going. If that doesn't work, I would just get this to be clawed later, um, anthropic. So taskmaster pass PRD, um, wait, I'm not sure this is accurate. Let's see what happens. No, yeah, we don't have the file yet. So it's actually gotten confused what its task actually was. Wait, let me stop this. I just wanna move this to, move it to 3.7 Sonnet. And what do we wanna do? No, I need you to create the prd.txt for me. So we have an example prd.txt. Hopefully this will make it easier. And then afterwards, once the prd is created, then we'll be able to pass it and you'll see all the tasks it goes and creates for us. So you can see on the right here, it's gone and created this file. So let's jump to it. Um, where is the created file? Here you'll see it. Let's just make some room for this and let's do wrap. So it's a bit easier to see, but you'll see like the full file um, of how many lines, 160, 170 lines. It's got that core description that we wrote up. We want an AI video ad generator to be created. Here are the core features, AI avatar generation, script generation, product screencast, text overlay and graphics. And typically what I do, I wouldn't actually tell the AI so much about what I wanna build. I wouldn't go into every small detail, I'd build stuff one by one, but the point of this project is it's already gonna go and break stuff down one by one. Taskmaster is gonna break this stuff down for us. So I'm like, I wanted to give everything I could about the project. I mean, if it was a real project, probably even more. But here you can see who actually wants to use this small business owners looking to create ads without hiring professionals. Okay, that's cool. And you can see the key, the key flow and so on, user sign up, UX considerations it added. 
is we're using, oh, I want to change this because I don't want to use Redux in this demo. And I'm not quite sure web RTC is necessary either. And then all of this containerized deployment with Docker and so on. Um, I wouldn't choose to do it this way. I'm going to tell it to quickly update this, although not really critical for the video because we're not actually going to go and build all of this, but might as well. But you can see here's like, it's just gone and filled in everything for us, which is really good. So I'm just telling it to like not use Redux, that Next.js is going to get deployed to the cell. I told it, yeah, use uh, React State and Context instead. Don't think we need WebRTC. I might be wrong about this, but it doesn't seem necessary. You do want FFmpeg probably. Um, so it's going and, you know, it's going to update this file. Anyway, let's go and continue with the next step because the next step is actually we want to create that PRD. I'll show you some of the other commands. I don't think this will show anything right now, but let's do taskmaster list. Is this doing anything? So right now we don't have any tasks in tasks.json. So what we need to go and do is run this pass PRD command, which has already gone and decided we need to do. So that's really helpful. Which is the AI already knows everything about the project. That's based on the MDC files, by the way. And so it's going and creating the next step, which is generating 10 tasks. So we'll see what that comes out as in a sec. Cool. So it finished running. We have 10 different tasks over here, which is cool. Let's go and see what was created here for us. Ah, sorry, it's not going to show in our Git because um, it's in Git ignore, but you'll see here tasks was created. We have tasks.json. So all the different things we have, we've already done the setup initialization and um, then implement user authentication here. You could have told it like how you actually want to go and do that. And yeah, here is like how it goes and does each task go create next app. We actually went and did that already for it, but you know, could have done it on its own, which is cool. Then user authentication, project management system. You can also tell it here when you use Drizzle or Prisma or whatever you like to use. Like in my case, I would have told it to use um, Prisma. So let's see over here what has happened. So now it's giving us all the different tasks. And this is really cool as well. This table now that it's come up with. So you can see all these tasks are currently pending. You can see priority is high for a bunch of them. These are medium. You can see dependencies. So this has no dependencies, but step two can only happen if step one well, has been set up. You know, everything depends on on the Next.js project and then everything else depends on the authentication and then it keeps going and so on. First thing I'm doing, I'm going to do is step one has actually been done already. We have our Next.js repo. So we it's asking to do taskmaster list and now I think it's going to do taskmaster done hopefully. Yeah, so we're setting the first item to done. You can run all these commands yourself. But what's really cool is that Claude here or cursor is doing all of this for us. So you can see it's done. And actually, if we go and do list now, you'll see what the update looks like. So here, the first task has been done, high priority. And um, this has also been updated for us. So if we go to the task list, here it doesn't show anything, but tasks over here, this is basically our database of what has happened. Yeah, you'll see here status done, here status pending, and so on. So every time the AI does something, it will update itself. And this is really cool. I might do another video on my own flow for this sort of thing. But before I was using a tasks list MDC file and it would basically interact with its own .md file that I had on the side as well. And it would update every time and just check something off. So it's doing the exact same thing here. Just taskmaster is a bit more built out. It has its own MDC files. It has all these tasks you, you see we've generated its own UI and everything. And it's very well integrated into cursor right here. So now what we're going to do is taskmaster next. And you can see this is the next task we want to do. No subtasks found. So yeah, what it wants to do hopefully is taskmaster expand ID2. Let's see. So we're going to do that. Um, it got this wrong. So I'm just going to run it here and it's going and generating subtasks itself with Claude. Now here it needs to decide how it's going to do the authentication. Maybe it's chosen next auth, maybe not. Yeah, it's chosen next auth for this, that's fine. Uh, better auth is another option which is more modern and recent, but you won't get the AI to do that automatically unless you ask it and tell it to research how to do it or pass it the docs for better auth. So I'm going to copy and paste this in. I did that and we're going to just like, well, going to tell it to continue doing it basically. I mean, I think the correct usage for the AI would have had this as a terminal here. We would have clicked run and then we would have continued from there. But anyway, now it is doing it correctly, showing the tasks we need to do within this bigger task, set up next door, then login and password reset and so on. So it's going and building that. And you see one by one, we're building out the full app. Taskmaster set status of 2.1 to in progress. So let's go do that. That's great. Did it generate new tasks here? Yeah, so here you can see the subtasks were created. Um, so that's really cool. You can see how this would work. Show 2.1, we set it to in progress. Let me do a taskmaster list over here just to show you what did this come out as? Um, was it supposed to show it? Or it's telling us recommended next task, which is accurate. Okay, so we're doing the MPM 
install of the different libraries. It chose Prisma for this. And you know, it's gonna keep going and going. And you can see the flow is just like, do the next task, do the NPM install, just hit run, run, run. And it will just like keep breaking down the task. You can give it edits along the way if you think something needs to be changed. Here you can do NPX Prisma init. So let's go do that. Now this itself needs a database URL and so on. We'll probably, you know, I'm not gonna continue here with the next steps but you, you can see what the flow would be. So overall, I think this project is really, really cool. As we finish, I did say I'm gonna show you the MDC files that were created for the project, which will help make it work. So if we go to cursor rules, cursor MDC. So here you can see um, this is a cursor rules, cursor rule, something I also use in my own projects, but like uh, Taskmaster has gone and created it for us over here. And what we will see is this is teaching it how <laughs> cursor should create its own rules basically. So we want to have more MDC files as we work along. And this is telling it how it should do that. Here you can see this is a structure of the file, main points in bold, some points with details. If we want to reference files, do it like this, how to do examples, start with a high level overview, going to specifics and so on. The dev workflow. So this was really important for everything we just did over here, but you can see the dev workflow. How did like cursor know everything it needed to do? Because this rule is set to always attach. And so now it knows it can do taskmaster list, taskmaster next, expand and so on. So it knows all the different things it's able to do. So yeah, um, this is the development workflow process, everything we've just described in the video. And this is just explaining to the AI how it should be done. And the last thing is self-improve. So this is also a really cool one. I don't have a rule like this in my project, maybe I'll add it, but each time it will be like new code patterns that aren't, discussed, that aren't covered in the project, go and create rules and like documentation for that within our own project. So it keeps learning and getting better and better over time. You can see how much is happening here. We've gone and added Prisma adapter. You can see uh, next auth is being added with Prisma password. We just added bcrypt, the next auth secret. This is exactly what um, a standard next auth Prisma setup would look like. If you look at any other project, wants to install dev dependencies. So we're just going to keep going and going. That's the end of the video. If you liked it, give Taskmaster a star. Our repo is below. And also give Inbox Zero a star. This is my repo. Really thankful because last week we actually became number one project uh, on GitHub for TypeScript, number two worldwide for anything. That's fully due to people watching this channel and also following me on Twitter. So follow along, subscribe. Hope you enjoy this content and I'll be back for more next week.